What up, what up, what up, it's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn, Channel Sweatbox, we back. We live, we active here on the channel. Yes, indeed. You know how we do. Still dodging those digital jabs, baby. Yes, indeed. All right, man. Let's talk about Moon Knight. Episode 1. I think there's only going to be four episodes. I'm not sure. I don't know. But maybe it's, I don't know. Anyway, I know nothing about Moon Knight. I only saw a couple of the trailers. I've never read the comic. I know nothing about Moon Knight. I went into this, this is the most blind I think I've ever went into any kind of a show or anything. I absolutely, like I said, the only thing I knew about this was the one or two trailers that I saw. And I didn't even see all the trailers. I think I only saw one or two of them. So I didn't know nothing. And let me just say, this show was cool. <laughs> Damn it, Disney. <laughs> this show was dope, man. This show was dope. They really pushed the limits were being on Disney Plus with what they was doing with the violence and all that. I mean, man. So the scene... Oh, okay, first of all, again, let's preface again. I know nothing about Moon Knight, so I'm just really just talking about... This is my experience is what I took in from this. The episode starts with my man Ethan Hunt, who plays a character named Arthur, uh, crushing up some glass in a napkin and then putting it in his shoes and then just walking off with the glass in his shoes and I was like wow that was a crazy scene and then it went into like the Marvel logo intro and all that then just the position into our main character Steven uh, played by Oscar Isaacs uh, also it was a great shot of him showing his feet first just like the last it was great the just position him going into the museum he's running late you see it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> but the whole introduction of Steven as a character how he's running late, he's, you can see everything's a little off, uh, everybody's looking at him like, what's going on with you, this super hot girl's like, yo, we going out to dinner tomorrow, he's like, yo, what, 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 something's not right, oh, even, hold on, hold on, hold on. then, uh, I don't even, did we shut up, because that's, yeah, that's, that was absolutely the just position, so then we see the scene, uh, I don't remember for sure, I gotta watch it again, I think that came first, yeah, the scene of him, Tying himself to the bed, waking up with himself foot with his foot with sand all around the bed to make sure ain't no footsteps come or gone. He got the door taped up to make sure that ain't been removed. I'm like, bro, what's your life like? What's your life like? What's going on with you, bro? As you see at work, he's not very respected. You know, what I'm saying nobody. The, the security dude keeps calling him like Scotty or something like that. He's like his name's Steven or something like that. His his boss, the female, I don't remember her name, she treats him like straight shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, he wants to, like, be a tour guide. She's like, you ain't gonna never be a tour guide. You suck at life. Screw you. I mean, she's just really crushing his dreams. <laughs> That's real. That was real. But, man, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this episode and what I really liked. When stuff starts to happen, the juxtaposition of how they did that between, like, when he would lose... So apparently he has a split personality, and he has two different personalities, and one takes over. So, I don't know. But, <laughs> whenever he takes over, the, the, the juxtaposition of doing that, especially like in the action scenes, was really well done. Like, he was falling asleep on the dude's shoulder on the bus, and I was like, oh, oh. yeah, this was really cool. I just how they, how they did that was really cool. The juxtaposition of when he loses consciousness and when he doesn't know what happens... And when he wakes up, and he's just like, oh, snap. <laughs> it's crazy. The goldfish with the one fin. I'm all over the place with this episode. But this episode was really crazy. Um, yeah, man. It was nuts. So, my first really thing that I really, really liked about this was how they cut the action. How they cut the action in that first scene when he wakes up on the field in the middle of nowhere. He's got the bloody jaw. You know what I'm saying? He's like, the dude looks at him, he's like, what are you doing? They start shooting at him, and he's running. That whole scene was awesome. How he finally gets cornered for the first time, and, ah, and, he boom, and all the dudes just laid out. When they're trying to get the medallion from him, the, 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 the scarab, he's like, ah, and they, all, they got him cornered, then, boom, snap. Next thing you know, bam, they're all just laid out. I'm like, oh, that was cool, okay? And then the car chase was bananas. 
car chase was bananas. The CGI, I'm going to give a shot because Disney, you guys, is leading the game with best CGI. And the CGI in this, for me, there was like two shots where I was like, eh, that's two or three shots. I was like, I could, I, could, I could tell that's really CGI. When that truck flipped over it, the logs on it, and the car went underneath it, that was, that was the, in my opinion, that wasn't the best CGI. It still looked cool, though. Wasn't the worst. It still looked pretty cool, though. So, in the age where everybody's being super critical of all the CGI, we ain't gonna let Disney get a pass because just because they're the leaders. You know what I'm saying? Still good, though. You know what I'm saying? It's harder and harder when you, you're saying, it's harder and harder. These visual effects get tougher and tougher. So, but that whole scene on the tree, you know what I'm saying? Dudes is crying, and you see the truck pull up, and they're about to shoot him. The dude's in the van, he's got the gun. Next thing you know, boom. He's holding the gun. Dude's dead in the back, falling out the back. Cars is flipping over. I'm like, this is bananas. This was nuts. That whole action scene was crazy. The whole action scene was crazy. Uh, and then how it ends with him waking up back at the house, like, oh, it must have been a dream. No, bro, that was real. All of that was real. <laughs> and then, and then, so after that crazy action scene, then the final, the final act of this movie was like a straight up horror film. You know, saying when he's in the apartment and he starts seeing all the visions and that giant thing with the stick keeps coming after him. And I was like, man, that was that was legitimately freaky. I was like, man, yeah, I get it. And the way the woman, <laughs> the old lady was acting in the elevator was hilarious. He's like, are we back on the fifth floor? She's like, yes, my friend's here. She's expecting me. He's not even worried about her. She's terrified out of her life. I get it. Man, this was a really good episode. This was a really, really good episode. When he's back at the museum and then Arthur comes to see him he grabs his hands and he's like you have chaos in you and he's like let him go <laughs> and then that little animal thing whatever that was was hunting him down he gets trapped in the bathroom and he's like uh, let me take over I can protect us he's like what let's take over the moon knight costume comes over him the dude comes in you see him Boom, the sink gets thrown out the bathroom. We cut to the hallway, you know. You just hear somebody getting mopped up. Sink gets thrown out. You see the animal, the, the little thing that was hunting him, trying to escape. He drags it back. He's like, nah, homie, you catch these hands. Bam, it was dope. Then you look up. That was the last scene. He comes walking. It was great. It was a really great episode. One more thing I want to talk about before we go back. The way he was just losing time, the whole thing was it was super messed up with his date. When he asked the girl out and he gets to the steakhouse and he calls him, he's like, where you at? He's like, yo, I was there on Friday. It's Sunday, motherfucker. He asks, is it really Sunday? He's like, yeah, bro. He's just like... <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm into this show. I think, I don't remember how, how many episodes it is. Like I said, I didn't know nothing about this going into it. But uh, I'm here for it. What is this, epi what is this series going to give us? MCU... You started off on a good, on a, on a high note, on a, on a very high note. So I'm, I'm here for it. I really thought this was good. Oscar Isaacs did a great job. Uh, my man Ethan Hunt did a really good job. And that scene <laughs> where he was like, "We got two men killed." And he's like, "Is he still here?" Yeah. He said, "Hey, no, 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 whatever." I can't even remember what he said. Everybody went to one knee. Oscar was the only one stayed. I was like, "Yeah, that's a good trick." <laughs> he knew immediately. <laughs> My man got his followers. My man Ethan Hunt got his followers. When he was in the museum, and he was like, excuse me, sir, this guy's been following me. My man looked at his wrist like, I know, I'm with him, bro. What's up? We here, to, we beefing. We want smoke. So, anyway, this was a good episode. I'm a very good episode. Uh, I'm here for the rest of them. We'll see. I'm probably going to do the, the rest of these series. So, uh, anyway, let me know what you guys thought of Moon, uh, Moon Knight, episode one, Disney+. Plus. MCU. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click those notifications so you know when we upload. Until next time, make sure you check out the travel vlogs. Until next time, you know how we do. Peace. I'm a go to the ends with you. I'm a go to the end with you. I'm a go.